And uh, on behalf of the Huntsville Fire Department, I'd like to thank each of you for attending the grand opening ceremony here today of Huntsville Fire and Rescue Station 19. At this time, I'd like to ask retired Huntsville Fire and Rescue Chaplain Spence Thompson to come up and do the invocation. You pray with me, please. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this opportunity, Father. We thank you for the opening of this station. We ask that you would protect the firefighters at work here, that you would protect this community. Father, we thank you for everybody that had a hand in making this possible, Chief McFarland and his staff, the architects, the builders, Mayor Battle and his staff, all the council members, and everybody that worked so tirelessly to bring this off. Father, we ask that you would protect the people that work here and thank you for this community and thank you that we're able to provide fire protection for them in Jesus name. Amen. You know, today we celebrate expanding our city limits just a little bit more. Uh, we have expanded the city limits a little bit more to the east, and so we need a fire station out to the east. Uh, we expanded our city limits to the west and needed a fire station out in the Greenbrier area. We went to the south and we needed one down on Green Cove. So today is another example of us returning to the citizens what they've already put in is the dollars that they need so that they have great infrastructure and adequate protection. And to our firefighters, I want to say thank you for the job that you do day in and day out to make sure that this community is a safe community. Uh, this community, I've already heard, is responding well to having a fire station here. Um, you, don't have, you don't want for a lot to eat. I've heard that they drop by meals quite often. Uh, and that's a great thing because that makes it a community place. Having a community center here in the middle of this area of Huntsville is very important for us and makes us a better city. Thank y'all very much, and thank you for letting me be a part of the opening here, Mac. Thank you. It's really good to look to look over and see this. I'm I'm thankful uh, for our fire service. I'm really thankful for the city that we all 
have here in Huntsville that's a growing city. I look at so many places and, and fire departments with working cities that maybe economic times are downsizing, and Huntsville is growing. It, this is a great place to be, to work for a fire department in Huntsville, Alabama. And I know when we looked over this area, Huntsville is growing so fast that it's just, just hard for us to keep up, but we're trying to keep up. And, and I can still remember when we were talking about this station, and, and, and I guess the first time we were really looking at it, Chief Sublet and I were actually riding together right here, and we were actually looking at the number of houses. You could see them from here, and then you could see them from the top of the mountain. And I think we both looked at each other and said, man, this scares me to death not having a station over here. We have got to get a station over here. So it was started that direction when Chief Sublet was here, and we've, we've carried it on and been able to carry it on through to get it all here. So it's, it's, it's a good place. It's, it's going to be it's a strategically located that we can cover this area. And it will pretty much overlap going up the mountain with Station 14 from Mountain Gap on top of Green Mountain. We've got a few streets that's not covered. We've still got to look at some more protection up there in the future. But it, uh, it strategically was our best place to put a station at this time. And it will definitely enhance the safety of everyone that, uh, that, uh, that lives in this area out here because Station 17 that we recently had up at Hampton Cove, they were covering a lot of territory. And this will help them. Not only would it be first in closer for this truck, but it will also let them back each other up when we have structures on this side of the mountain. So it's, it's, a, it's a good day for fire protection over here. Uh, I do want to recognize several of our uh, folks and, and companies and groups that helped us with the station. Uh, Matheny Goldman, uh, architects, uh, PEC structural engineers, Foresight civil engineers and, and landscape architects, JPM, Engineers, MIMS Engineering, Toler Construction Company, Jack R. Morgan Engineering, uh, S and M&E Engineering, Sharp Communications. And the City of Huntsville, I can't tell you how much I appreciate all the other departments that pitch in anytime there's a project. I hope our department can give as much back to them as they do to us when we're trying to accomplish something like this. Because especially general services, traffic operations, landscape management, water pollution control, public works, the inspection department, planning, finance, and legal. And it's always, everyone pitches in, it's like one big team to make projects like this happen. And I think without everybody's cooperation and willingness to work together, we wouldn't be as successful as what we are. So thanks to everyone in all of those departments.